Hi, happy Sunday. This is the first of many weekends that we're gonna be sharing little tips of decor and DIY and how to elevate your space in your home. So today we are trying to finish our master bath and we hung some photos. We're definitely gonna paint and I wanna show you how this all came together. I took these about a month ago and share a couple tips how you can turn your bathroom at home into a little spa. Um, we have redone this. I'll show you the before. And I feel like besides Brian, good one, I have commitment issues. So um, I couldn't commit to wall art. I don't know how you feel about wall art, but I just feel like I can never be like, okay, that's what's gonna be on our walls forever and ever. And I know it's not forever. This guy's it's probably forever. like six months. You're, I'll give it to you're, you're, change of mind. <laughs> <laughs> you are the one, but I need to, towels aren't looking very organized. Okay, so we are going to hang these pictures and we just got these frames at Target. They are the same size, they're just uneven right now. Um, and I took these photos right outside our house at the beach and um, if any of you want these prints, let me know and I'll send them to you. And I thought that this would be nice, like, Probably not people in a bathroom. <laughs> you have pictures of people in here. <laughs> um, so Brian's gonna show you how to hang them. <laughs> Bella's gonna try to keep me from doing it. Yeah, okay. Most importantly, Kat does not believe in these. They're called measuring tapes. When you measure, <laughs> you measure twice and you cut once. It's good advice. Uh, so, you know, here we are. Here's the towel rack. I'd say we want it pretty much centered looks like someone already put a nail hole in here, so this would be pretty easy. Um, but when you're doing it, grab your pencil. Careful. So it's easy to figure out where it is centered on the wall, but the, the big challenge for a lot of people is how do you get the height right? Because the top of this picture doesn't align with the hanger. So there's like an inch and a half of like a difference there. Here's a pro tip. That pencil. Get it where you want it, approximately. How are we looking? Is this approximately where you want it, babe? Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Watch. Take a little pencil and just mark. It's a pencil, so we can erase it. Mark the top of that line. Yeah. Okay. We've got a line on the wall. I like that it's higher than the mirror, <clears throat> and then also you would have space to hang your towel right there. Next. Because I don't have a nail in the house because they're all somewhere else, what you do is you, <laughs> measure, <in> Arizona. <laughs> you measure from the top edge to where it's actually going to get hung. And it's half an inch offset. Half an inch. So we take that line we just drew from the top of the picture, we measure down a half inch, and that's where your hole's going to go. Since we don't have nails, we're using drywall screws. Drywall screw. Drywall. You should do like a list of go-to tools that you need in your house too. Well, okay, so I didn't put the screw in far enough. That's why I see how it's moving around. Oh. <clears throat> And although it's probably level, you gotta check. Yay, that looks so good. I feel like eventually maybe I'll commit to wall color. This is within the, what do you call that? Powder room. Toilet room. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is actually in our hallway. So, hi Bella. Hi. It's exhausting being so cute, isn't it? show how to roll your towels just like if you were at the spa. Alright, I'm going to do it 
answering this quest because the only thing that she was happy with was being in the tub. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna show you how to fold your towels like you're at the spa, just for something a little extra special. All right, so the first thing you do is you take your towel and you fold it in half. And a good reference is if you have your tag still, you have on the outside and have your towel in front of you like a big diamond oh, with the tag at the top. And then you fold in one side, fold in the other. And it won't look perfect, but you just want these lines to be straight. Hi. And then what you want to do is you want to carefully flip it over. And then take this end with the tag, fold it up, and then start rolling pretty tightly, making sure the ends are nice and straight. And then when you get to the end, you take that little corner and you tuck it in. And so you can put it on, on your shelf or into like a basket in your bathroom. It looks real nice in the kitchen. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
uh, Brian can show you how, and then you can also do like bead board or something in a bedroom. But I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you this week for all your workouts and everything. And then I will see you next Saturday. I think we're going to post next Saturday morning. So that way you have the whole weekend to do stuff, um, for the second series. We hope you love this. Bye.